I've wanted to make another My Opinion On video for a while now. Or, you know, anything. But I wanted the stuff I covered to either be something I could make funny, I mean, what can I say? I'm a natural clown! Or be something I actually had a strong opinion on. I've attempted to make moves on other topics besides Rocket League, but for various reasons I haven't. Yet. One of these main reasons being that I commonly feel I don't know enough about the topic to accurately portray it. But there's one game I feel this doesn't apply to. A game that I have a lot of knowledge, experience, and memories with. And now that I've admitted to that, people are probably going to have lower opinions of me for the rest of my life. For those of you who don't know what Minecraft is, I want to congratulate you on finally getting internet access. Don't click that picture, trust me, it will not give you a new iPhone 4S. Minecraft at its core is a very simple concept. You mine, you craft, you forage, you create, you destroy, build, destroy! and you use these abilities of mining and crafting to do whatever you want. Due to Minecraft's creative nature and the entire world being made up of blocks, people commonly compare this game to the bricks from the Lego movie. And they're not wrong. Just like Legos, this game is about shaping the world that was randomly generated into whatever you want. Or you can do whatever you want. You can go mining in the depths of the earth for rare minerals. You can then use these minerals to make better tools and armor to combat the enemies of the night. You could build your perfect dream house along the coast. You could work with redstone and create big elaborate machines. Someone made an actual working keyboard in this game. Create a minecart track that plays a song with the in-game note blocks. Make pixel art. You can make a bunch of TNT and blow up your friend's McDonald's he built because he killed your D&D character. You could roleplay going to school on the days you don't have to go to school. Angel, you're stupid. Go to the tension. <laughs> you can fight in the Hunger Games, build bases out of obsidian and surround them in water. You could work together with your friends to travel to new lands and destroy the beasts that roam there. And that's just vanilla Minecraft, with the addition of mods for you high-class Java edition gamers out there. You can do just about anything. More ores, more complex machines, other realms to explore, Pokemon, summoning the creator's dead brother. There is a mod that turns all the mobs into anime girls. There's just so much people can do, and have done, with this game. This game is very simple in concept. It's all about creating. Or crafting. There are two defining modes in Minecraft. Survival and creative. In survival mode, you start with nothing. You have a health and a hunger bar. And you have to go and collect and craft anything you want to use. Nothing is given to you. Unless you chose that extra chest at the beginning in which... Ugh. And you have to gather all of the materials you want to use by hand. Or pickaxe. If you want to build a brick chimney, you have to go and mine clay, smelt the clay in individual bricks, and craft the bricks into brick blocks. And then you realize, oh wait, that only made one brick and I need 400. And then you figure, oh, I like stone bricks better anyway. In creative mode, every block in the game is at your disposal. You can fly, and you can break blocks almost instantly. In both of these game modes, you can basically build whatever you want. In survival, it takes a lot more time and effort, but a lot of the time it can feel so much more rewarding. Knowing that instead of just designing the structure and placing the blocks, you earned every block used. Minecraft, to me at least, is about being creative. And as such, not everyone will have the same experience. Sure, a lot of us have shared or similar experiences, like the first time we fell into lava, or maybe you thought Herobrine was in your world. Or maybe like me, you started playing on Peaceful because the creepers made you scream past your bedtime. But I don't know how many of you held a funeral for your Minecraft sheep. Who was also a secretary at your in-game water bottle company. Or how many of you spent your snow day mornings in middle school mining out a big hole in Minecraft for an automatic carrot farm while listening to the Pikachu song 10 hour on YouTube. And how many of you angrily texted what you thought was your friend because he trapped you in the nether portal, but in actuality it was some lady who you just texted, dude, what the frick. Through my many memories of my time in this game, more time than I'm willing to admit, I've met a number of people and grew closer relationships with people I knew due to our times of building together, playing mini games together, even making videos together on Minecraft. Friends who I used to play Minecraft with constantly. 
Some of these people I still talk to regularly. Some I still talk to occasionally. Some I've lost all contact with and will probably never talk to them again. And all I have left of them are the memories of our time together. And also the videos. Thankfully, and unfortunately, for me, I recorded a lot of Minecraft videos when I was younger. These videos sort of act like a time capsule to what I was like back then, and what the game was like back then, what kind of buildings I built, what did my friends and I do at the time, who was I playing with, what I used to find funny, what, what sort of jokes did me and my friends make that sort of fell out of practice. It's all here. And here. Minecraft was quite a popular game to record, due to everyone's playthroughs being different in some way or another. And it wasn't just Let's Plays. There were tutorials, stories, music parodies, animations, creepy stuff, whatever the heck Minecraft My Street is. Yes, sir? All the Minecraft content even started to lower people's opinions on the game. The game got a lot of hate for a couple years, saying it was because of the toxic fan base or it's just for kids, because apparently creativity is not for adults. Some people hating the game because it was popular, some because it was now owned by Microsoft, some played the game just so much that they got bored of it, some just didn't enjoy it. Which is understandable. Nothing lasts forever, and nothing is for everyone. Except for Wizard101, as of the time of recording this, Minecraft is resurfacing. People are starting to see the game for what it is again. They're not seeing it as the game that created Steve Minecraft Toe Torture XD. They're seeing it as a slow game. A calming game. A game about your journey. And your buildings. A game that after nearly 10 years has felt the same. Even when they added new blocks and mobs for more stuff to do and collect, the base game still feels the same. It's still a simple game about mining and crafting. Sure, one of the things that they added were these flying manta rays that'll attack you from the sky if you don't sleep for too long, and that's really dumb, but they did it anyway. I'm so happy to see this game in a positive light again. And I very much hope that now that it's getting popular again, it won't be a repeat of what happened last time. It was disheartening for a couple years to see so much hate be thrown at this game. Even if I did find all the meme edits funny. And I think it's a good chuckle. I still like him. I don't know what makes a game good or bad. That's why the series isn't called the Review Gamer Series HD. Because that's an awful name. And this series isn't in HD. This series is called Moo. Not only because I like cows, but I want these overviews to be more about my opinion on them, or their impact on me in this case, because I don't know what makes something good, but I know how I feel about something. Not everyone is going to have my experience with Minecraft, and I have spent so much time on this game that many others may say that it was just wasted. And maybe they're right. But that doesn't change the fact that Minecraft grew up with me. Yeah, we're just gonna be dancing, all right? You get dance at the party. Yellow, 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 red. Do you see? I am ready to kind of say, so I think I'm gonna change my skin back to the original. This is my derpy shack of derpiness. Welcome to Minecraft 1.4. Go in there, go in there, go in there, go in there. I really have nothing to say about you. Uh, you're holding a torch, he's holding a stick, and I'm holding a sword. What's wrong with that? Uh, oh yeah, I'm still on my Halloween skin. It's Birch Forest. Is that a new bio? How did you turn into a one kid anyways? I don't want to talk about it! Why are you slapping me? Okay, what? I'm willing to bet it grew up with some of you, too. And boy, has it been a fun ride.